Just wanted to get the material for Epitop. Because I wanna see how am I gonna like that weapon. I wanna play full Sebagot. It's because if I'm gonna like Epitop regular version, then I would get the prime version of it. After the new war, you're no longer a, a baby Tenno. Ah, I'm still baby. It's because I'm still not in the new war, I guess. Also, I don't want to uh, rush my progress here in this game. It's so easy to get lost here. I'm still getting used to a lot of things here. I'm still learning. I'm taking my time just playing this game. Heck, I have 11 years worth of content to do, right? I don't need to rush. Exactly, playing at one's own pace. Also, I don't want to get burned easily to any game that I'm playing. It's because, you know, that's mostly our issues. Especially to the older, older gamers. Burnout is a huge issue. Also, uh... You're, uh, for me, I'm enjoying the game more when I'm not rushing things. This is why I kind of don't like, or I don't want to play games that that makes you feel like that you're gonna miss something big. I don't want those kind of games. Uh, it is the, uh, the uh, definition of Destiny 2. It is called FOMO, Fear of Missing Out, right? Yeah, it, it never stopped and I played it for five years. Oh, you're, you're a Destiny player and you played it for, for so long. Wait, after the final DL, uh, DLC couldn't keep up playing anymore. I, you know what? Speaking of Destiny, I've watched several Warframe videos and other gaming related stuff, usually about people getting burnout something like that and you know what one thing i learned destiny players after playing that game they feel miserable so i'm kind of curious to play destiny to see how is it like that why most of the people i heard they feel miserable after playing it or still playing it but when they stopped they feel, uh, they feel much much better now in their life. It sucks if the game is making you feel like that. I'm interested to check Destiny at the same time. I don't know because a lot of people already said their experience about that game. But still, it's still different when you experience the thing first-handed, right? But no, there are things that you don't need to experience first-handed, right? <laughs> Especially if it is negative, that is 100% right. It's called I Hate Destiny 2. It's my favorite game. <laughs> yeah, what? Why is it like that? It's funny. At the same time, it's sad. A uh, video game is supposed to make you feel uh, relaxed. You're supposed to be having fun, but you're not supposed to be forced playing that. That's crazy. I mean, gacha games also do that fear of missing out. But so far, well, uh, I played Genshin and I'm still actually playing the other Hoyo games, but Genshin not anymore. I played or I'm I'm still playing the Zay Zay Zay. Even though it's a gacha, I can still feel that it has uh what do, what do you call this? It still has a respect to your time. But of course, you're still missing out new characters or so. But rem uh, minus that, when it comes to contents, you can just finish it in your own pace, actually. Y you're not losing big. I, I mean, you're still losing something. But it's just not so, not so much. But yeah, of course, it's still FOMO. Uh, FOMO is FOMO. It doesn't matter how big or small it is, especially 
for these live service games, right? 